On this channel, we have seen incredible progress in how AI builds full stack applications. And don't get me wrong, some tools generate almost perfect apps, but there are still times when the user experience feels clunky or the components don't work as expected or the design just feels outdated. Well, I've got a game changing solution. Today, I'm going to show how you can build real native mobile apps for both iOS and Android without writing a single line of code using a powerful new update from a platform we've covered before called Bubble.io. And yes, this time it's not just for the web, we're going full mobile. For those who do not know, Bubble AI is a full stack no code AI app builder that lets anyone build and launch web and mobile apps with no coding required. Now, unlike certain tools that focus on just one part of the development process, like landing pages or just backend logic, Bubble handles it all from designing, database, workflows, as well as deployment. So whether you're a first time founder or part of a larger team, Bubble turns your idea into a fully functional, scalable product, faster and cheaper than traditional coding. With this new update, it's going to let you build real production ready iOS and Android apps with full native features like push notifications, camera access, and so much more, all without code. You get pixel perfect design, powerful logic, real time previews with Bubble Go, and can even publish directly to the App Store or even Google Play. Web and mobile apps built in one singular place, which is something that we're going to be taking a look at today. Just take a look at the quality of output from Bubble's native mobile creator. You can see how beautiful the apps look, how intuitive they are, and how they're able to reflect real-time data. So to get started, head over to the link in the description below. And once you are here, click on start building your mobile app, which will prompt you to create an account after you have created an account or signed in, you're going to be then sent over to the main dashboard of Bubble. This is essentially the main page where you can manage all of your web or mobile apps. You can either create with AI or create a new project from scratch using the Bubble AI Builder. You also have built guides which showcase how you can get started. You have templates, ready-made templates that you can easily adopt and use to configure with your own preferences. There's also plugins which lets you extend Bubble and this is essentially where you can enhance the platform even further by connecting these other APIs or tools to enhance the capability of your app. Now let's get started and showcase how easy it is to create any sort of mobile app for any of the apps that you might have created with Bubble or if you're just simply starting off from scratch. You can either start off by creating your web app with AI or you can send in prompts with natural language and essentially if I am to describe my prompt in natural language, the AI will actually work on building it within a couple of minutes. Soon, you're going to be able to do that with mobile apps as that's a feature that's going to be coming soon. But now what Bubble has done with this new update is that they have now made it so that you can build web apps as well as mobile apps within a certain project. This is where you don't need to just create native web apps and then use a wrapper so that it could be used as a mobile app. Now you can individually build these different components all on your own. You can even create it side by side together like a web app as well as a mobile app with Bubble. So that's what we're actually going to do. We're going to be creating a mobile app from scratch and showcasing how easy it is to build it. And after you have clicked on get started, you're going to be then sent over to Bubble's builder. And this is a builder that is a drag and drop type of functionality that lets you build out different components for your application. It's super easy to build anything with these different visual elements, the containers, the input fields, and you also have the ability to use this workflow so that it's easy for you to understand the whole process. You have a backend workflow to understand that as well. You can even manage the database, add different styles, manage your plugins, and much more. And what's interesting is that you can switch between the mobile app as well as your web app in one singular project. So everything is unified, the database, the plugins, and as well as the backend workflows. So it's easier for you to manage all of these different components in one area. But now let's take a look at this editor and explore the mobile setup. So whenever you start a mobile app in Bubble, you get this dedicated mobile canvas to visualize your app. But then you also have this panel which lets you edit certain component. Now this layout feels familiar if you've used the web builder with Bubble, but it's fully optimized for mobile first UI. 
This is where you will see that there's mobile specific components because these aren't just web elements styled for phones. They're basically built using React Native so that when you use these components, they're rendered like real mobile apps, not just a web view pretending to be one. These UI elements makes it super easy to build out your application where you can simply just drag and drop different components and you can essentially build out any sort of web app or any sort of mobile app in this case. So if I want to place down a map, you can simply go ahead and drag this in. If you want to then add in some sort of text underneath it, you can then add in this text node and then you can configure it within this editor panel. But there is a lot more to this. You can also add in a short list which is where you can add in different options. You can also have it so that there is a floating group that could be added. So there's so many different components that you can add to build out your, your mobile app. And guys, say if you're testing out your mobile for different layouts, you can actually change the default view size to different phones. So if I want, I can change it to something like the iPhone 14, 15 Pro Max or something like a Galaxy S21 Plus to get the right layout view for the typical phone that you're working with. And guys, what I would recommend you do is use Bubble AI first to develop the web app preview so that you can then use that web app preview within the mobile app project. So you can convert whatever has been generated by the web app uh, builder, and then you can then transfer it over to the mobile builder so that it is gonna allow you to easily get started with the mobile project. And after dragging and building out your different components for your mobile app, you can actually get a preview of it directly within the device that you would want to see. And this way you will get live visual elements previewed like you would on the mobile. You can also get a live preview with their app called Bubble Go so that you can easily see and visualize how your app is natively on a mobile device. And after your app is now ready, you can then head over to the settings tab, head over to mobile settings, and then this is where you can provide your Apple settings or your Android settings to then deploy it to the Play Store or the App Store. So it's super easy. You can first start off by creating your new project from scratch, or you can start off by having the AI generate your web app, and then you can generate a mobile app within that project that generates the AI web app. So this is where I can simply de describe what I want to build, like a job portal, and then I can simply generate the blueprint. And then AI is going to work on generating all the components fully autonomously thanks to Bubble's AI agents. And you can see the AI agents have now developed a plan to create our app. So you can see there's a couple of key features it's going to add. But say if you want to add your own, you can simply describe those features and it will actually add it. Now all you got to do is simply click on generate, wait five to seven minutes, and it's going to then create your application for you. And just like that, the Job Portal app was fully configured and built autonomously all on its own with the plan it created, thanks to Bubble AI. And you can see it has created this Job Portal, which lists out different sorts of jobs by different categories, locations, as well as having the ability to search the job. This was all done within a couple of minutes, and this was all thanks to Bubble. And then all you got to do next is head over to the mobile app, and this is where you can then preview the web view within the mobile app. And now you can start building out all the components with the structure that AI had created. It's easy as that. You can then simply deploy it on the app store by simply going over to the settings tab. That's how you can easily build any sort of application with Bubble now. And it is something that has native mobile app compatibility. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on the new native mobile app builder. This is something that will let you build real production ready iOS and Android apps with no code required. So if you're interested, use the link in the description below so that you can easily get started. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you join the Discord. Make sure you also subscribe to the second channel. Follow me on the newsletter. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you get subscribed, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.